Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, in case you're new here. If you are, you should go ahead and subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. Speaking of videos, this one is a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's a really pretty red eye with a green lip. And this video is a collaboration with my friend Angie. She is super cool and I love her and she'll be linked in the description. She's doing a like holiday look too, which is cool. So check that out, check her channel out, subscribe, say hi leave a like on both videos and yeah so doing this fun red green look let's get into the tutorial so first we're gonna go in with note to self by ColourPop this is in the cute AF yes please palette it's just a matte brown I'm just gonna use this shade as a transition shade it is a little dark and I probably should not be using it as a transition shade but we're going to so this look is very simple I don't really want like a really complex eye look because we're gonna have a bold lip and a bold eye so it's just pretty simple also I have like no red eyeshadows so we're stuck with simple next we're gonna go into a few different reds I'm gonna go into this one this is from the um, take me back to Brazil palette by H BH cosmetics I also go on with this one again in the cute AF palette this is spoiled as well as destroyer from Kat Von D this is from the Mi Vita Loca palette so I'm going in with the BH one first I'm just gonna kind of put it in my crease in my outer corner so now I'm just going to go in with the ColourPop shadow and just put this more on the outer corner and crease definitely want the outer crease to be darker than the inner crease. I'm going to go on with the Kat Von D shadow. So I'm just kind of layering a lot of red mattes together. Going into the little Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. These colors don't have names, but I'm dipping into this one. Now I'm going in with the star of the show. The whole reason why I chose to do a red eye uh, the Semi Precious palette. I'm going in with this beautiful shade right here called Easy Go. So I'm just going to put it on a flat shader brush and then spray it with some Fix Plus. So I'm just going to kind of put it all over the lid. I'm definitely going to focus more on the middle and inner it, inner lid. I'm going back in with the Mob Obsession palette and I'm just taking a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this brown and putting it on the outer corner. Just doing this to give the look a little more depth. I don't necessarily want the brown to like really be in your face and be like oh there's brown there but I do want it to be a little darker. I'm gonna go back in with that red we use and just kind of make it a little more metallic. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm just going in circular motions. I don't really like to go like that. I like to go in circles and go around just because I find it a little easier for me. Sometimes I do go like that and like Bring it back and forth like like that, but I do it in really small motions and really fast. And I'm also really delicate with my brush. I'm not holding it right up here because this, I don't know, I feel like it makes me be a little more harsh. So I'm holding it at the end and just kind of blending on my eye lightly. I'm not like pushing into my eye like that. I'm just going very lightly to the point where like I can't really feel it. Now we're here. I'm going to tight line and waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On my pencil. This is really weird. Victoria's behind me, so if you hear something, <laughs> that's her. So we're going to do the face now since the eyes aren't done, but they're done for now. So I'm going to start off with some green concealer because redness is a thing and it sucks. Next, I'm going in with my foundation. This is the When Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in Shell Ivory. I'm almost out of this. I have like none left in here. It's tragic. Now 
Now I'm going in with concealer. The first one I have is the ColourPop No Filter, and the second one is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous one. So I use both of these under my eyes just because the ColourPop one has more coverage, but it also creases a lot. Um, and the Ready Set Gorgeous one is lighter. So it just makes sense to use them both. And then I also put the ColourPop one all over my face. And So I'm setting it with the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. This one is in NW20. So to spot conceal, I'm using MAC Studio Finish? Studio Finish Concealer. It's just a little pot. So I'm going to set my face now, again, with the powder foundation. I'm using the uh, Shade and Light Contour Kit by Kat Von D. I'm using this one. And I'm using a fan brush with it because fan brushes are cool. I'm putting on blush. This is the Baby Love Too Faced Love Blush Blushes. These are really, really nice. Just a nice pinky neutral. I'm going back in with just all the reds that I used and mixing them together for my lower lash line. So now I'm going to put on mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I'm using the ColourPop Eyebrow Pencil in Brow Boss. This is the blonde one. It's retractable, which is cool. Uh, their eyebrow pencils are the same, basically. They have two different ones, but they're the same. The only thing about this one is that it's retractable, so buy this one. Next, I'm putting on Gimme Brow. I don't know why I do this, but I do, because I got it. I use number three. It's a little dark. Yeah. But... So now I'm going to go in with highlighter. This is the Hourglass... I don't know, Ambient Metallic Strobing Lighting Palette. This is the holiday one. It's really, really nice. I'm going in with the middle shade, which is Pure Strobe Light. I don't know if you can buy these as individuals. Who knows? Who cares? I'm just going to highlight with it. I'm also going to use this to highlight my inner corner. Well, now for lips, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Wicked. This is just a cool green. Uh, we're going to use this color because it's Christmassy. And this also gave me an excuse to buy it. You know, I want a formula so dry that the brush feels dry. Yeah, that's what this is like. So, this is the finished look. I think the green looks, lips kind of look cool. It's definitely very streaky though. Kind of drying. Also, my lighting's basically gone. You can see Victoria's foot going back and forth. So, if you guys like this video, leave a like. Also, subscribe to so notify when I upload new videos. And remember to go and check out Angie's video and her channel and subscribe. Just say hi. Yeah. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!